back four, allowing Kamwendo the freedom to push further forward and, of course, to uh, run after the ball and looking to dictate the tempo of uh, this Malawi side. Sissoko here with the uh, goal kick did come up with a uh, few good saves in that first half. This distance on the ball, I feel. Now, we haven't seen anything at all from Mali in uh, the attacking uh, third of this match or of the field in this match so far. Diaby. A couple of yellow cards were shown in the first 45. Masaka Yenda picked up a yellow card. He's basically been just about everywhere. Early yellow card in the match. Then uh, Pakari Sako joined him later in the half. No changes at the uh, start of uh, the second half. Keep in mind, if you haven't heard just yet, this group B, or if you have forgotten, maybe, uh -huh. we could use with the reminding that this is a group that, of course, had Algeria in it. Hey, hey, that well, had a 100% record coming into this round of fixtures. Four matches, four wins, 12 points, double the number. Mali had clear in qualifying for the 2015 Africa Cup of Nations. We'll be looking to make it win number five in their next match against Ethiopia, Algeria. They have bossed matters, the number one ranked side on this continent. Winners, Algeria of the CAF Champions League, amongst the best sides of the 2014 FIFA World Cup. They were the favourites in this group. Mali, of course, were the side possibly seen by many to possibly be favoured for a second spot. And they've done well to pick up second spot up to this point, but... Mali doing their bit to ensure that they are posing a serious threat in that regard. There is Sako with the touch. Now, space out on the far side, it's uh, Tambura, the Irlandes player, 76th cap for country. So he's amongst the most experienced in the starting uh, lineup, is uh, Tambura. Still in his 20s, still 29 years of age. Now, we wait a little bit longer to get a positive for Mali going forward onto the attack. One thing they certainly struggled with in the first half was holding onto the ball. Here they are, passing it about quite impressively until they get towards that final third. That's where it becomes difficult for them. But nonetheless, forward they push on. Yatabare. On the far side, Diaby. We'll get a bit of help here from Tambura. Diaby, the option in field. With the left foot this time, looks to float one in. It was never shaping up to find that man, uh, Sheikh Diabate. Big number nine then. Who continues to struggle to get good service from his teammates. Nice girl, nice little drop of the shoulder then from Bakari Sako. Yes, Silla. Dumbia. As mentioned, there will be plenty in uh, the uh, way of uh, qualifiers live in your World of Champions uh, today as well as uh, midweek. Currently, South Africa nil nil up against Sudan. Later on, of course, we find out if the uh, African champions, Nigeria, can uh, keep hope alive of being amongst the elite uh, at next year's uh, Africa Cup of Nations out in Equatorial Guinea. They're doing a better job in midfield of holding on to the ball here. Uh, Mali as they bring it over to the near side. The long touch from Bakari Sako. Down the line then. The skill didn't work out for Yatabare. Kaira. Space to advance into here for Robert Ngambi. Hardly seen him carry the ball for that distance. You'll hardly see Robert Ngambi carry the ball for... Uh, at, uh, amount of time with that many touches he's usually the like the uh, type that likes to keep it simple has a uh, good technique mango likes to get involved feisty little player he is and i say little player with uh, all uh, due respect to him only little when he's uh, matched up against the smiley side but he is a useful man to have in your side uh, the most useful so far has been Kanyenda holds it up well, turns his man, shows good strength and with a good pass to work it out wide here. Mlimbiga, ball in! Kandoe was there. Should have done better, maybe overran it just a bit and saw the ball coming slightly behind him and had to adjust. Uh, the first bright moment of uh, the second half belongs to the home side once again. Beautiful football. Again, it happened around Kamwendo, held it up. 
Good for the pass to Mlimbi. He got wet. The time had the space, had the precision and quality in the ball in to pick out Gondowet. Unlucky then, the experienced campaigner. That's one of the few times we've seen Diabate, just a moment ago, getting an actual flick on. And those are anticipating it. And much in the way of numbers. Uh, normally close to getting on to the end of it. In fact, Yatabare was the man who hoped to get on to the end of it. There's Fischer Gondowe. He's making all players on the other side of 30 proud with his display here this afternoon is Gondowe. Gambi working it out wide. Support coming in then from Langesi. Ball in again. Difficult to defend. Yes, it wasn't that close to Ganyenda, but the quality of the ball meant it wasn't that comfortable for Diawara. Once again, the noise levels come up from out in the stands. Now we were so many positives in this match. Start to turn the screw in the second half. Inswinger. Decent looking ball. Keeper was in trouble. Kane was nowhere near it. Robert Gambi. Frustrated with himself. Yet another chance. He's had about five opportunities in this match. Not clear cut once. And some of them shots from outside of the box. Three of them at the, at the uh, very least. But should have, should have done much better that time around. Maybe he didn't quite get the timing right on the nut to direct it into the back of the net. But Ambi is certainly a man who's useful in set pieces. Mentioned that earlier on in the match. Now, flick on. Good numbers anticipating it. Amongst those was Diabe. Tambura. Close one in. Three in the box. Good numbers there in the uh, final third. The width provided by Sako. Another ball in there. The big number nine gets onto the end of it. Finally, Jake Diabate has some service. Can't get it on target. Can't get the uh, work rate out of uh, Harawa that he was hoping for. But uh, that's more like it from Mali. Work it wide. Get it in there. And get uh, that uh, Peter Crouch looking like fellow onto the end of one or two of those in the hope of getting the uh, lead against the run of play. That seems their best play in trying to push forward. Kamwendo may just uh, aid them somewhat here. Looked like he was playing himself into trouble, but the number 10, who never seems unsettled, kept his cool. Malawi launched yet another attack with on this near side from Gambi. Battle of strength won by uh, Kulibali. Gambi wouldn't give up. He's another that played for uh, Black Leopards along with uh, Fisha Kondowe in the uh, Limpopo province out in South Africa. There's uh, Robin Gambi, a good number of seasons of service out to a uh, club owned and ran by a man who goes by the respectable title of Mr. Tidiela. Had an absolutely stunning season in the season just uh, or the season gone by for platinum stars did robin gambi scoring goals and playing a crucial role in uh, the cup appearances the impressive cup runs where they won a couple of uh, cups and uh, platinum stars at the hands of orlando pirates the giants in south african football gambi certainly amongst the most respected players in the after premiership quality true quality and this malawi side has some quality we've uh, already seen joseph kamwendo who is on the ball now and what he can provide with his uh, head up style and approach to the game oh that's a good ball good movement now diaby holds it up looking for the late arriving run then and in the end it was well read mzava now those uh, career in the after premiership on south africa is growing by the season now come window with time with space with movement up ahead looking for the movement then of ganyenda so far aerially they've got ganyenda where they want him to mali he hasn't won all too many flick-ons in the early stages of this uh, second half he certainly was troublesome in that regard in the first although he started slowly in the early stages and then as that half went on he began began to uh, win more in the air. Gondowe sends it into no man's land from Mali point of view. Straight into a position where there were two or three white shirts waiting to collect. Diabate. 
Sacco. I certainly would want him on the ball more. Wasn't involved not nearly enough in the first half. He's frustrated with a few of his teammates. You can see the body language. And those palms are pointing up on both sides of the uh, body. Whilst the player's running with the ball and having his head up, he's pretty much telling his teammates, where is everybody? Where's that movement? Who can I release to? In trying to get the forward pass, in the end, he was frustrated that he had to move sideways rather than forward. That has been the major problem for Mali. The penetration simply hasn't been there. Kaira. Nirenda. Black Leopards out in uh, South Africa. The uh, club associated with him as well. Few out in Mali have a uh, good relationship with Black Leopards. Gambi certainly started off his career in South Africa out there with Mlimbega, the buccaneering left back. Found that Koulibaly had him well washed and in his back pocket. Now, Kamwendo. In his time out at Orlando Pirates, Kamwendo. Further back in his career, he found the uh, going a bit difficult in trying to beat the likes of Andy Jali and Opa Magnesa to a uh, starting berth in the uh, midfield battle. And the likes of Tiko Medise as well, whilst he was still a Pirates player in the end. Moved on. Without really having had the uh, impact some fans of Orlando Pirates would have hoped for. And that was uh, mainly due to a competition of places. Ball in was not quite what the quality uh, it's needed to find Gambi. Of course, when you look at Kamwendo, a very similar type of player for those that have seen the South African star in uh, Tiko Mediso, South African player, who was part of that 2010 squad play. A similar type of player, as you can understand, he struggles then in uh, reaching the likes of Medisa to a starting berth. At that time, Medisa was pretty much the go-to man out at Orlando Pirates. Maybe at the uh, cross, some weather felt to uh, Joseph uh, Kamwendo. What has been impressive with this Malawi squad and the way they've gone about business is the ability to mix it up, build from the back, or go long in a search of Kamwendo. It's done well to keep it alive. Good pass, good vision that from Ango. And Gondo has had a couple of touches in a row now. In the last few times he's touched the ball where he hasn't connected. It looks that from the nation that'll be the first to make the change wondering whether it is in fact Gondo that will make way good question or we'll wonder at the start of the match how long he would last in this encounter he certainly started off as Mr. Busybody did uh, Fisher Gondo eh? going forward in the end they're forced all the way back to the goalkeeper in uh, Arawa Mango does well to protect the ball then leading it to Kanyenda and Jesse looks for the return yet another pass from Kondo where that won't find its mark here so well, a situation brewing out on that far side where all for one Adama Tambura may have uh, Gotten himself into a spot of bother with a uh, different referee than in Norway. Worries for him. A few worries for Diabate here as he makes the uh, well makes way, not quite having had the impact or service he would have uh, hoped for on in his place. Mustafa Yatabari. Things out in Turkey for 
Trabzonspor. 23 appearances. Healthy output in the uh, way of uh, caps for country. Not quite matching that with goals, however, for a uh, forward. That's about it, just three goals. in uh, this uh, encounter and uh, waiting to come on here is uh, Simkwanda, Gaston Simkwanda and making way is uh, Gabadino Mango this also no surprise he hasn't quite been able to get into the game he has had one or two moments but hasn't really caused any waves going forward here and uh, with the momentum they've had in this match just lacking in goals or on the goal front Malawi just I say to have that golden touch that will put them into the lead just three forward for the set piece Diaby Simkonda, who has just come on here for Malawi, a man who uh, plays for uh, Moyali Barracks. And uh, in the uh, first half, we tried to go through the number of 21 year olds they had in their starting 11. Well, I'll tell you what, they've replaced uh, Mango, who's uh, 22 years of age, with a man that's a year younger in uh, Simkonda, 21. One country. A shot. Here is the uh, new man in Simogonda. Sets it up for the shot from range. It'll fall for them once again. Simogonda with the glove man. Oh no, unfortunate was that. Oh no. It'll roll here for Malawi. They do find the back of the net. Robin Gambi with the finish. It came back. And yet, went into the third. right in the heart of it no player has had more chances of goal than Robin Gumby here this afternoon maybe no player other than Kenyenda deserves a goal more than him funny enough both those men were involved in that goal and some How's that? When it rains, it pours. That's the situation for Mali. But for Malawi, the ball has been rolling for them all day long. They are a side that's looked good for a goal. Right from right about the uh, 15th minute, they finally have found that goal. And suddenly, things get. The 20th. Side official. The Rwandan official in uh, Toigene happy to give the decision. The referee will compound that decision with a yellow card here for Kuli Bali. And the Kamosi Stadium is very much alive now with Malawi keeping their chances of a place at that 2014 Africa Cup of Nations alive. Wanda, it's a game. It's Red get a good ball into that box. They attack that near post. A good three or four of them. Well, this qualifying campaign short, and it certainly had an impact. We get qualifying. Yeah, they're trying 
at the top of the group. And uh, what, Cote d'Ivoire and their struggles against Cameroon, out in Cameroon, then their struggles against the DRC, the quality of the matches. Yes, there have been problems for African football, one could argue, in the overall picture. Administrate, uh, administrators are strictly, or in administration rather, I should say. Uh, but I'll tell you what, there certainly hasn't been much in the way of problems with the output from the players on the field. Yeah, it all boils down to fans want good football, they want good entertainment, and well, we certainly are getting that in uh, these uh, qualifiers. Unpredictable they are. Administratively, that's the word I was struggling with earlier. Finally got it right, I was able to get my tongue to curl around it. As that Sile is fouled. Sako, numbers in the box, four of them. Wasn't a bad ball, meant there was plenty to do then for Yatabare in trying to get on to the uh, end of it. Yatabare, a man who's come on as a substitute here, stands at 1A2, born in France. And the one club he's represented the most in his career, and he's had some meaningful contributions to the uh, clubs he's uh, played for in the past, but the one is Ginao. He had over 100 appearances, and every other club he's played for, 